Aries, welcome to your love reading. We're going to tap into the person on your mind. So this could be somebody that you're with right now, someone that you're actively manifesting, or just somebody from your past that you feel you have some unfinished business with. So we're going to look into their energies on this connection on the left. We're going to tap into your energies on the right, pull out a few cards for mutual energy and just kind of build the reading from there. So Aries, I hope you all are doing well. If this video resonates with you, please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay. So the person on your mind, what are their thoughts, feelings, and desired outcome with Aries? So their thoughts, ooh, Ace of Swords, somebody wants to talk, yeah. Maybe this is somebody at a distance, maybe this is a long distance uh, kind of situation. Um, sorry, just fixing something on my mic. Okay, here we go. What are their emotions for you? What are their feelings for you? Oh, three of pentacles, somebody wants to make things work. And what is the outcome that they desire with you, Aries? Knight of Cups. Hello, I like this. I like this for you. And you've got the Knight of Wands. Ooh, Aries, you could have two people wanting new. Two people who want to kind of start something new with you. Uh, and it's going to help you come out of this state of lack or state of like whatever blah you've been feeling. Uh, okay, this is cool. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm getting drawn to... The fact that you might have two people interested in you it doesn't have to be, but that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting. Okay, let's see. What are your thoughts, feelings, and intended outcome for the person on your mind? I like to do this because I like to see whether there's, um, you know, alignment there or not. And sometimes it's surprising what we think we want, but the cards never lie. So let's see. What are your thoughts for this person? Oh, Page of Pentacles. You're down to talking as well, having a clear conversation, setting some expectations. What are your feelings for this person? Oh, you are conflicted. You are conflicted. Maybe you have two people and you're conflicted between <laughs> where to invest. What's the outcome that you intend with this person? Death rebirth. Ooh, Aries. Interesting. Seven of Swords. Is this somebody from your past? Are you conflicted between bringing something back from your past or exploring something with someone new? Mm, maybe a relationship that you had and you've tried really hard to move on from this person or they've tried really hard to move on from you. Hmm, let me see what's underneath the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Six of Cups, somebody from the past. And then Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. Hmm. I don't know if you've received an apology from somebody that you dated and like things didn't work out and they wanted to come in and kind of explain their piece or apologize to you. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. So a little bit of plot twist, but uh, gotta love a good plot twist. Gotta love a good plot twist, if I can speak, that is. Let's look at mutual energies, okay? Mutual energies between you and the person on your mind. Magician, you've both kind of manifested this connection into being, or I think you both want the same thing. I think um, you're attracting or manifesting somebody into your life who's going to feel very aligned with your expectations on love, on relationships. Like, you know, if you're looking for, for something very committed long term, then I think you're attracting somebody or talking to somebody or thinking of someone who also wants the same thing. One more. Ooh, there's lots of love in this connection. You've attracted this person into your life and they've attracted you into their life. But there is something where I feel like you only have eyes for one particular person, even though you have options or either they do, because I feel like they are coming in with this cup of love. Hmm. What's this five of wands about? What's this five of wands in Aries feelings? Yeah, I'm telling you, you have options. There are two people that you're thinking about and I strongly get this feeling that one person is somebody from the past and there's a new person in the scene, the chariot. Um, I don't know if you were dating somebody across uh, like the distance, like it was long distance or something. What's the death and rebirth card? Six of cups, ooh, Aries, judgment. Okay, double, triple confirmation. Okay, I'm just gonna say it because that's what I'm seeing in the cards. I think you are actually actively manifesting a brand new beginning with an ex. Even though you have options and there are new people in your energy, I think you're not over your ex and you're hoping and wishing that 
there could be a brand new like start to that connection or there's a renewal in that connection that's what i'm picking up on hmm interesting okay let's see the person on your mind what would they like you to know so i'm thinking that you're thinking about your ex a lot more than the new person so let's see this ex what would they like you to know let's tap into their messages for you what would they like you to know I can be myself with you. Okay, so they definitely had, I wonder how you feel. You definitely had that sense of comfort with this person and they had that sense of comfort with you. But I guess, you know, it's been some time or, hmm, they're wondering how you feel, whether you still think about them or not. I wish I treated you better and I want to feel that way again. Ooh, so it feels like it's kind of mutual. So I think Aries, you do have an opportunity here to bring this back to life if that's what you want. Um, yeah, if that's what you want, I'd get working on that. Um, let's see what the romance angels have for you. Because I think it's mutual and like they would appreciate you reaching out as well. Okay, religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This card for me sometimes is not like specifically like religion. It can also be like your belief system or like how you look at relationships is very different from maybe how they look at relationships or how you look at long-term commitment and what that looks like in its 3D manifestation or could be slightly different from what they think of it. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I think if you've been pondering whether you should reach out to this person or not or whether there is you know emotions uh there from their side there definitely are because it says i wonder how you feel i wish i treated you better so there is that sense of regret or maybe like hope that it could work again or if given another opportunity they would treat you better let's see what the love lovers oracle has for you oh okay i'm going to take this one because i flipped over it says reflection Give each other some space at the moment, trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So yeah, I think this period of separation can actually do um, some good for your connection and uh, you both are realizing some really important things about this connection and that can help. If suppose you are thinking of a potential reconciliation, then I think this time spent apart will actually be quite pretty helpful and pretty good for your connection. Let's see one more. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Oh, I like that one. Maybe some of you have been feeling really down and like low vibration given everything that's happening. Like I empathize, you know, when you have new people around you, you have options, but your heart is still stuck somewhere else. Um, I think you just kind of need to um, work with like being more mindful, meditate, just imagine all these unwanted thoughts dissolving into light and that'll open up your life for more opportunities and possibilities for your life. Hmm. Interesting, Aries. Do, Aries, do let me know in the comments section how this is resonating with you. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to know? So what is the future potential of this connection? Uh, whether it's the ex. I mean, I'm strongly picking up from this reading that a lot of you are thinking about somebody from the past so let's stick with that storyline sorry i know it's getting a bit it's getting a bit specific but that's what i'm picking up on so what is the future potential with this x eight of swords mm, i think both of you are overthinking this and probably just um a clear conversation needs to be had and things can get better from there give me one more seven of pentacles both of you are waiting to see if the other person messages or not page of pentacles yeah waiting for communication waiting to have a brand new beginning to be able to express your truth to be able to share what you've learned in this time apart i think this is quite cool i think aries if if you think you know um you're comfortable with reaching out i think it would be a good idea to do so because i think they have a lot of compassion, a lot of affection for you still. And they're kind of up in their head as well, wondering how you feel. Um, and since you've stumbled upon this reading, you know, take this as a confirmation or a sign that, you know, it is safe for you to um, make a move and kind of reach out. Uh, and I think the outcome would be great because both of you are kind of in this um, static kind of uh, um, 
like a stalemate kind of situation, like nothing is happening, nothing is moving, but somebody needs to change that energy and, you know, do something about it. Um, yeah, any final messages for Aries? Anything you want them to focus on? Anything you want them to focus on? Ooh, Ace of Wands. A brand new beginning or a brand new person. Queen of Cups. Listen to your heart. You know, I think you are kind of like trying to figure out should you be guided by your heart or guided by your head? Uh, and then in between, there's this brand new opportunity. Now, this could be a brand new opportunity to reconnect with somebody from the past or, or in fact, like this could be a brand new person. You need to figure out like, what is more important to you at this phase in your life and there is no right or wrong answer for different people it'll be different things you know if you really want to sink into your feels like get into a meditative state really think about what are the lessons that you've learned what has this period of separation illuminated for you how will you do things differently if you were to go back to your ex or whosoever this is and from your past and you know just maybe like try to pull in both your heart and your head into this situation um, and there could be a brand new beginning. I think I think you're very close to kind of changing out this energy. It's it's almost here. Uh, just the final push, like, you know, the final touches uh, and you'll be there. So that's what I have for you, Aries. If this video resonated, please do hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye bye.